Hi there people, new year and so we've got some new camping gear and uh, we will show you how we've set up our tent this year. Hi there people, new year and so we've got some new camping gear and uh, we will show you how we've set up our tent this year and show you the new bits we bought. So let's start from the outside. We have got ourselves one of these little fire pits that we've seen on Amazon. Um, doesn't look sturdy but the reviews are apparently quite good. Um, I personally think it will have taken us longer to set it up than we will do using it, but we'll we'll see and we'll let you know. Are they worth buying? That's £16 from Amazon. Then we've got a new gr griddle. Um, I unfortunately we did have one from Amazon, cost about £35. I dropped that when I was unpacking the car after our last trip. So what we've done, got nipped out to go outdoors, bought another one. This is a quest one. And so we're hoping that's going to be good. We do have a Quest oscillating fan. And we found that to be a really good bit of kit. So we're hoping the griddle is as good as the heater. It's actually, because it's warm here in Cornwall at the moment, it's actually hot to touch at the moment. Right, so let's go through. We have a water dispenser. Again, another little Amazon gadget. Great. Connect it to your container. And there you go. You saves the kids messing around with bottles. We end up with water and puddles everywhere in our tent. So now, nope, kids can use that. Great stuff. Let's go through again. We've still got our toilet for the kids. Can't go without that puppy. We've still got our silly little inflatable things that we bought from Morrison's for about 15 pounds, but the kids love them. We did have an outdoor revolution, but unfortunately, I was packing the car and I grabbed hold of the wrong sofa. So we've gone back to our Vango. So this is, a, you know, we can review the Vango. This Vango sofa, inflatable sofa, great for unicorns, not so good for adults. Um, if I sit on one side, I am sort of going, you need like sea leg tablets before you uh, sit on it. But it needs a bit more air. I'm going to put some air in it and I'll let you know. Will I be able to stand up and walk or will my knees have given in by the end of the week? Oh, there you go. And then we bought this great little, we wanted to go outdoors, bought a Euro Hike Lazy Lounger. I thought it was actually inflatable, but no, it isn't. You have to run around the, like the camping pits like a lunatic chasing butterflies to fill it up with air. So there is no way I will be using that. But again, this might be great for kids. We'll find out. What we've also got is an All Powers portable charging kit. We're just charging it up at the moment. So we've just got here. Now this, if you have a look at our setup, obviously we're trying to charge everything back up after the journey here. We've got trip hazards everywhere. You know, it's carnage we've got speakers to charge phones to charge tablets to charge and also i find that when we go out because i'm using sat nav um, a lot off google um, my phone's constantly dying and as a result i'm driving around cornwall just in circles a lot of the time trying to look fine for signs find signposts etc so we're going to let you know if one of these is worth doing apparently they're meant to be really good uh, you charge it once and i think it gives you in the region of 100 hours of charging for phones and tablets with you know, and it's exactly the same as your sockets at home, where it's about an hour and a half to charge them up. So if it works and it's got 100 hours, that's going to be brilliant. And it can be used as a, it comes with a solar charger as well. So if anybody's got a, you know, camping without an electric hookup, that would be ideal. But we'll let you know if it's any good. Obviously, if you have watched our previous video, We've still got the yawn airbeds. We cannot fault them. We've got two yawn airbeds. We love them. Kids love them, as you can see. Uh, we've got one child there, one child there. And 
Yeah, they're really, really comfortable. So we are in, um, where are we, Globe Vale in Cornwall. So this is a great site. We've done a review of this site. And in fact, it's the only campsite we've come back to. You know, we never normally go to any site twice, uh, but we've come back here because we know how good it is. So we're going to test these out along with, oh, sorry, I almost forgot, different lights. If you're like us, we seem to go through lights. Some are good, some are bad. That was bought last time. Look, it lasted one trip. This one, we'll see how good that is, see how good that is. We've got a great little Wuben torch. If that fails, that's so powerful, it's ridiculous. And um, yeah, we'll let you know which one is worth buying if you're looking at buying torches or, you know, lamps, lights for your tent. But um, yeah, here we are, one week in Cornwall and it's hot and it's baking inside this tent. So I'm gonna get out and take the kids to the beach and let you know what everything's like in a week's time. Right, so here we have Janice christening the Quest Griddle. Um, well, look, it definitely works. It definitely gets hot. Whether Janice's food will taste good, you know, that's still questionable. <laughs> but you can cook on it. So, griddle, tick. So come back after a hard day trekking around Cornwall um, and now we're going to try and christen this uh, very portable fire pit. Um, it actually fits in a bag that big. did take us, because um, I'm not very manual, did take us quite a while to assemble it, probably about 15 minutes. I'm hoping it'll last longer than 15 minutes because um, it doesn't look the sturdiest of things. So what we've got is, <coughs> we haven't been able to find any wood. This is typical, isn't it? Got a fire pit without wood. So we bought these instant uh, Barbie quick, instant fire logs we purchased. So we're gonna trial it with this tonight. And if good, and it's still in one piece, what we will do is try and find some wood for it tomorrow. And hopefully it will be as good as people say it is. I mean, if you can get a fire pit, take it around it and fits in there, but, well, it's got a plus from us. We'll give it a go. And if the fire pit doesn't work, this will keep us warm. <laughs> right, let's give this little mini fire pit a trial. And light it. I have visions of it burning straight through. So, uh, we're missing there, ready to burn. so let's see what it's like. Well, to be fair, it's probably meant to be wood and not a bar B hey. quick thing to be on there. <laughs> She's had to put the fire out. Happy birthday, Daddy! <laughs> he wants me to blow the candle out. <laughs> right, we'll be back in five, see if it's still in one piece. Thirty minutes after lighting our little fire pit that I didn't think would last more than 15 minutes but it has done 
we've just thrown the second one of those barbecue instant bricky things on there. Probably actually better than buying wood, I think, really. Six pound in total for two, three pound each. Brilliant stuff. And it's going really well. This is brilliant little fire pit. Um, as you know, most uh, campsites and parkings park, you know, now, the fire pits have got to be raised off the ground, which this is, and it qualifies. Spot on. Actually, with these as well, you haven't got loads of ash left after. It's just going to be a case of, once it's cold, in the bag, in a bag, bin it, job done. But it fits inside that. You know, look. Literally about 10 inches by three inches diameter. Uh, we'll put the link at the bottom of the video, you know, in the description of the video. Really impressed, really impressed. But we're still at the start of our holiday. Will it still be in one piece on night seven? We'll let you know. So here you see Janice are trying to inflate this lazy lounge. Yep, she looks like a lunatic trying to catch butterflies in the middle of a field. <laughs> There's no wind and she cannot inflate it. So, uh, hmm, how you use these, I don't quite know. What we'll do, maybe we'll come back and wait for a bit of wind. Oh, see how it's got it? Let's have a look. <laughs> yep, that looks extremely that comfortable. That looks extremely comfortable. Hmm. 17 pound well worth every penny by the looks of it no there's mm. just not enough wind inside just yeah, not enough wind apparently okay we'll come back later when there's wind <laughs> hmm. Janice has been running around. It's a bit windy today and Janice has been running around in the wind to try and inflate our lazy sofa thingy. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try and give it a go. Ah, when it's got air in, it's actually quite comfortable. The trouble is, we're now on day five before we've managed to get air in because there's been no wind here. But now, yeah, it's quite relaxing. It just takes a while to get there. at the end of our seven night stay at the lovely Globevale Park in Cornwall. And what do we think of all our new gear that we bought for this year's camping? Let's start first with the Lazy Lounger. Child model. Now, personally, it is more beneficial as a butterfly catching net than it is as a Lazy Lounger. My son can lay on it and my little daughter, the wife can as well, but for my weight, doesn't take it at all and it does take about 10 minutes to catch them, enough air to go into it, and then it deflates after about 15 minutes. So it costs 17 pounds, 
um, entertainment value, watching my wife run around the field trying to fill it up, worth £17. As a lady lounger, not worth £17. Next, we got one of these things from Amazon, this cheap, like really cheap, uh, portable fire pit. Uh, we've been using it with these, you know, fire logs. And you know what? We're actually amazed. We've used it every night and it's brilliant. Um, it's, we'll put a link to it on, you know, from where we found it on Amazon, as we will do for all the other bits. But that is, we think it's a must because it's so small and so compact. So what next? What have we got next? Oh, we got the Quest Griddle spot on you can see we've been using it every night it goes really well uh, we also have a rice cooker um, which we use as well to heat up other things like chilies but for grilling and everything that is absolutely spot on no faults whatsoever so that's a good next dead unicorn ignore the dead unicorn what we've got I think we showed you at the beginning the water dispenser this is fantastic I don't know why we never got one before Again, something nice and cheap off um, Amazon. Um, but please note, that it only fits into certain types of containers. So we've got the high gear 10 litre jerry can, fits onto there, no problem. So really good. Can be noted as well, we charged this before we came away because it is like a, uh, an adapter and it's been going constantly all week with no problems. And we have been using it quite a lot. So that's a really good, really worth buy, well buying. So then, sorry, I'll take off my shades. <laughs> if we come in, we've still got the uh, child's toilet down there. A must, obviously, for all people with kids. We have got the Van Gogh chair. We have got an outdoor revolution. Now we've got the Van Gogh, because um, I packed this in error. Now, I've got to be fair to the Van Gogh, because I haven't had anything else. If you fill it up with air, this is fine for probably one person. If you lean to the side a bit much, you are going to feel seasick. But I'd say the Outdoor Revolution that you can buy is about a 9 out of 10 for a sofa. This is probably about half price, and it is about a 6 or 7 out of 10. You know, as long as you've got knees strong enough to be able to pick you up afterwards, it's spot on. We've got in the bedroom, got our yawn air beds. We have gone on about these. We love them to bits. We've got two of them. Um, been here seven nights, topped them up both once with air, and that's it, no other issues at all. Um, we also have the All Powers um, portable charging unit that we've got, and we found this to be really, really good. Look, we drive, I've been driving around Cornwall using sat nav and music off my phone, and as a result, the charge in my battery has gone down like a fat kid on a seesaw very quickly. So, this it's been brilliant because you can charge it takes about you get about 15 charges of your phone on it and for anybody else that's going like um non-eu you know non-electric hookup camping you can buy solar panels that charge it up and you can charge um you can see we're charging the light off it now you can charge lights actually can power like um fridges little fridges for a bit as well there's all sorts of stuff you can do on it so we really think that is a good gadget for anybody going camping and another thing that we have got as well is one of these little towels. So if anybody wants to save space, we didn't know what they'd be like. We purchased them from Go Outdoors. We put two on a whim and these dry so quickly as well. I'm sure these, I mean, these have been around for years and I'm sure loads of people know about them, but definitely worth buying if you want to save space. We've got two of these. We're probably going to buy a couple more. And they take, you can see how much room they take up a lot easier than another you know a normal sized towel and they dry really really quickly so next then there's the lights these are what we've been looking at you know we do not know which is the best light to have we've got like a van gogh plug and go one that you charge there the solar i think it's solar paneled as well that fell off the first week we got it we've got another van gogh one that takes batteries that's quite good and the batteries last a long time in that but it's not enough light from there for a family sized tent at night smaller tent that would be sufficient but for a big tent you need a bit more can't remember what make this is this is a high gear we found that to be absolutely pants <laughs> unfortunately sorry um high gear and then we've also got another out outdoor um high gear one and this one has turned out to be really good 
So that is probably the best we found. That's about 15 pounds from Go Outdoor. Look, it's got a hook on the bottom as well, which we found really useful, especially for a Van Gogh Castle Lux, because we can fit it in there, because a lot of them you don't, don't have the hooks. So that, for 15 pounds, you see how bright it is. Really, really good. If I can turn it off. There you go, it's got distress signals and all sorts you can do it. And that's it, heaters. We've got the Quest oscillating fan down there. We've also brought a backup one, which is an Amazon tower fan. Um, both really good. Those are what we recommend buying. We've tried multiple heaters in the past, ceramic ones, Camper Diddy heater, not sufficient for a tent this size. And that's it. This is all the bits for this year. We're still gonna buy more because I still want my projector and I'm sure there's some other bits I can get. And yeah, hopefully you'll find this useful and we hope you enjoy the video and uh, please come back and uh, watch more.